Go run ahead, guys. I'll stop the noise. Thank you. Austin, the touchdown pass to Matthews, just the way you guys drew that one up. <laughs> hey, Austin, can you pull the mic in front of me, please? Pull one of them. It doesn't matter which one of them. One of them is pulling in front of you. I got you. All right. Um, yeah, no, definitely the one, the way we drew it up. Um, exciting. You know, he puts himself in a position to make plays all the time. Um, offensive line did a great job. The backside D end speed rushed up the field. And uh, so one of our, our left tackle walled him off. And I just felt him from behind. So I kind of rolled out to the le left. I wanted to send my shoulders back to try to get Jordan the ball. Because um, Jordan and then a guy behind him were both open. And I uh, had to do like a Brett Favre pitch, whatever, as long as you get to done. That's, uh, that one, I'm sure you heard, tied the record re you know, receiving touchdown for this school. You looking forward particularly to getting him number 22 at some point? Then? You know, I've said it before, and it, this isn't just the answer that we've been coached to give. The, uh, with Jordan and our team in general, um, but especially number 87, like, he really doesn't care. Uh, it's going to be back to work. He's the one that always says to me, and it helps me a lot as well, you know, you're only as good as your last week. And so for him, like he accomplished something this week that's pretty special, but he knows it doesn't mean anything if he doesn't come back next week and play really well also. So um, we'll keep the same chip on our shoulder as an offense and uh, can come back with that mentality. This team pretty good right now then after this game tonight, you feel like? Yeah, um, you know, we started fast. Uh, we played with a lot of energy. Um, I thought the defense did a great job. They were flying around, doing a really good job. There's a lot of enthusiasm over there. Um, on offense, I think we got our swag back, you know. Um, I think we had it, so it felt good there. Uh, it felt good to have guys in front to block like that, and, uh, and guys out wide to catch like that, and guys like this to run. So it, it, it's exciting. Any of you guys, uh, Coach Franklin just talked about being more aggressive <coughs> in everything you do, and he said he talked to you guys about that Friday. Just talk about being more aggressive in the way you go about your business. Uh, you just. Kind of, you have to try and make it an everyday, everyday thing. You know, it has to become a routine. And I feel like we played with that aggression today, and that's what allowed us to be successful tonight. Sure. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I was going to say, uh, defense held them on the first and goal to a field goal, and then right after you, you popped that 50, whatever you like. Feeling momentum shift kind of right at that point after that touchdown. Yeah, definitely uh, momentum shift after that. Um, whenever you can stop the offense. Um, from getting a touchdown home to a field goal, and the opposing offense come back and score a touchdown. The momentum has been shifted, and it hurts the other team. So we were able to build on that momentum and sure. carry it. I'm sorry. And have it carry over. You, you had a bunch of short touchdown runs this year. How much more enjoyable is a long one always when you get one? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it, Josh. Y'all um, run out of gas. I'm, I'm glad it was 58 yards, but I feel like it was 65. Probably would have got caught. But I mean, it was enjoy <laughs> I, I enjoyed every bit of it. I mean, it's a credit to the offensive line, um, the hard work they put in in the offseason and, and leading up to this moment. And um, that play will never happen if it wasn't for those guys, so I just credit them the most and everything. Adam, can you talk about the importance of, of holding them to three field goals and three trips inside the red zone those first three quarters? Um, that was our plan initially. You know, we always, uh, Coach Troop always says, uh, first quarter shutout, uh, three and out. And he just uh, elaborates on that, and we just kind of have to buy in to the system. And like I said before, we have to play with that aggression. And once we put all that together, then that's when it really plays out. Austin, you were uh, probably your most accurate passing game of the season. Um, did anything feel different? Did you do anything at all during the game that was different? I had time to stand back there. You know, they did, they've done a good job all year. Um, Today, I think we did a really good job as an offense, just showing a lot of different things that we do successfully. Um, I think these guys ran really well. I think the offensive line protected very well. Um, I think they created holes for these guys to get through. Um, and of course, those playmakers on the outside make plays. So I think that this game, for the most part, was just our most complete game. And, uh, and I think that allowed me individually to have a little bit more success, but us collectively, you know, I think every individual in our offense had a much better day today because of the success of the guy next to him. That's really what we talk about all the time. It's just all 11 contributing. And, uh, and I think all 11 made equal contributions today. Austin, how much of a challenge was it for, from James to you guys to send you back out there and say run the ball with 10 seconds left and no timeouts at the end of that first half? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you know, that's his mentality. And it really shows the type of mentality he had this week, too. Um, you know, he had individual conversations with all of us about the type of energy that he wanted us to play with today. And, uh, and I think it's just epitomizing that call. You know, no timeouts left. You're on the one-yard line with 10 
nine seconds left. You got to stop running the ball up the middle, and you're going into halftime with no points. And he didn't want three. He wanted seven. And, uh, and that spoke the mentality that he had today and that we had as a team. You know, we look up to our coach so much that we just do what he asks us to do and try to act like him. And I think that that was what we did today. And uh, I think we are very successful in something that we're definitely going to build upon next week um, with a big game here back in our home state. Kind of take the place of him challenging you with a halftime speech like last week at UMass that challenges you right before the half of the play there? Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> absolutely. You know, that, that's something that he talks about with the offensive line. You know, we live and die with the offensive line. And we trust those guys. I trust those guys. Coach trusts those guys. So um, with a play like that, I think it just shows what he thinks about the guys we have up front. And, uh, and I knew they were going to do their job. So um, very exciting. Just punched that one in there. Get some momentum again going into halftime. And, uh, and then start well when we came back out and said it was John, how much more consistent was the run game tonight than it did the first four weeks? Um, it was, it was uh, a lot more consistent tonight. Um, the guys up front. Um, on the, uh, they was on aware and they was on the free to tonight. Um, everything they was just blocking their tails off, and um, the communication was well up front, so they was able to um, block the punch. Uh, UAB did some funky fronts up, um, that they had lined up, so I mean, Joe did a good job communicating the fronts to everybody else up front, and they were able to execute. That was the main thing today, just execution. Austin, you irritated by another interception that you had tonight? <laughs> no, you know, as an offense, we were successful. Um, I think that the guy, we did such a good job as an offense tonight. Um, like I said before, you know, you definitely correct those mistakes. I'm going to go back and watch the tape and see why it is that happened. Um, I thought I saw what I saw on the field, but uh, apparently a guy came from the backside there. So I just learned from it. But uh, on such a positive night for all the guys on our offense and how well they did, um, it's something to learn from, but not something to dwell upon. So. Uh, Excited again about just correcting that mistake, but moving forward on some of the progress that we built tonight. Two or three more questions, guys. Austin spoke Wednesday about wanting and feeling like you guys needed a complete game. How close did you get to it tonight? Um, yeah, I'll let Coach Franklin kind of answer on that question, but I'll tell you, I felt good out there, and I think we felt really good out there. A lot of smiles in the locker room after the game. Um, it's unbelievable to watch your teammates uh, have that type of enthusiasm and passion. And so uh, I'll tell you what, you know, I didn't. I didn't watch the game and analyze it from a spectator's perspective, um, so I don't probably don't have the best um, judgment on whether we played a complete game or not. We're going to watch the tape. We'll get a better idea of it. But I'll tell you what, it's really exciting to see the passion and enthusiasm the guys had in the locker room after the game. So uh, I think as a whole, we're pretty happy about the way that we played. Those individual meetings that you mentioned, did Coach call you into his office, or were those out on the field? How did that happen? Mine consisted of all about 15 seconds, and that was all he needed to say. He said something to me before the game, um, and I'm going to keep that private between him and I. But uh, it really was special to me, and uh, it kind of changed the way that I play tonight. And, uh, and I love Coach Franklin for that and, uh, and the way he is with all of us. And I know that he had those conversations with a lot of our players. Uh, obviously, I can just only speak to the one that I shared with him. One or two more questions? John, thank you very much.